Welcome back. We're checking our D.C. polls for you, and today we're doing something a little different. We're hearing from our political pundits from Tennessee this week on President Biden's decision to step away from the race for the White House. Joining us today here in studio is Craig Griffith. We also spoke earlier with Courtney Piper. So we're going to start with the big question. That was trying to get everyone's thoughts on what you thought when you heard the president was stepping away. And we're going to start with Courtney. Almost a little bit of relief. It felt like his age and the debate deformance was just this cloud hanging over the Democrats, where we constantly had to emphasize his record, his policy record, the, the, his record as president. And once you start having to do that too much, elections are popularity contests. And so it became clear we needed to remove that obstacle. So when he announced that he was dropping out, it was almost the sigh of relief and we've got a fresh start, let's go do this. All right, so Craig, you heard what Courtney had to say. What do you think? What were your thoughts? Well, uh, history repeats itself, and I'm going to reveal my age here, but <laughs> I remember as a young uh, boy uh, watching Johnson's yeah. uh, announcement that he wasn't going to run again in March of 64. So it was deja vu all over again. Uh, you know, I think that it's terrible the way that they've treated Biden, but it was the only choice he had. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he realized the way things were going, that it was going to be a very difficult race to win the White House again and uh, decided, you know, that the time had come for him to put forth a decision that he felt was in the best interest of the country. And so you have to salute him for doing that. It's very rare a politician True. does not try to get the, retain the power. Uh, but in this case, you have to salute him for the decision he made. All right, I tell you what, this, the follow-up here begs the question, what happens now, right? President Biden has gone on record, has endorsed the former, or, or has endorsed VP Kamala Harris. She's still the vice president. Her support appears to be growing. Uh, here's Courtney's thoughts from earlier this afternoon. Kamala Harris is a great choice. We have seen, even in Tennessee, how women's issues are front and center. We have a U.S. Senate race going on right now where polls are showing us if only women voted, Gloria Johnson, who is the Democratic candidate, would win over incumbent Marsha Blackburn if only women voted. So I think it's a really smart choice. Kamala is also a prosecutor, and so it's a really interesting visual setup as well as a narrative to have a prosecutor go against somebody who is a convicted felon. Greg, you, this is the best choice, best move for the Democrats right now? Well, it's, you know, we're only, what, 100 plus days to the election, right. so they had to move quickly, and she was the person that was most vetted on the national scene. So I think it was actually the, really the only choice they had. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, it's, it's going to be a process. Right. Because she still has to get the number of delegates in the convention to nominate her. Uh, and I believe the Republicans will put up as many barriers to that in the states as they can. And also I'm hearing that the Federal Election Commission is doubting whether she can t claim the $100 million that's sitting in the Biden-Harris campaign account. So there'll be a lot of bumps in the road. Uh, but it's going to be a campaign. I think we'll see an energetic campaign. She has injected energy into the, into the Democratic Party that certainly wasn't there before. And that was uh, shown by the huge fundraising haul that they had on the since the 24 hours since the announcement was made that said she's going to face all the same headwinds right. that joe biden had uh the uh, democrats are pulling behind the republicans and handling the economy and handling the border situation so it's imperative that she develops her message which courtney said will probably revolve mainly around women's reproductive rights and get that out as much as they can all right, we're going to stop there. Craig, I know we'll be talking a lot more about this yes. over the coming weeks and months, especially on Tennessee this week. Glad to be here. Lori.